Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Rachel, and if you're not subscribed already, don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Today I'm going to be doing my third update in my project pan for 2018. This update is split 50-50. There are some products that I have done really well on, and there's others that I'm kind of slacking. So the first product I'm going to be mentioning is my Kevin Kwan Contour Book. I've hit my goal for both the cream sculpting and highlighting powders in this product. So first off with the sculpting cream, I was trying to hit side pan because I had previously already hit pan, but I just wanted to expand it. So as you can see here, I have expanded the pan all the way to the side and I'm now here. My goal for next time is to maybe hit pan up here. And as for the cream highlight, I finally hit pan on it. And previously I was struggling to hit pan on this. I am going to continue to work on the sculpting cream, but I am going to be taking the highlighter out of my project just because I've realized that it really moves around my foundation underneath. And so I don't really like that. I'm happy with the progress I've made on it. Moving on to my Bite Lip Duo, I'm also going to be considering this product done as well. On the musk side, I still have a little bit left if you compare it to my last updates. I've used it up a little bit, but I do have a little bit of a nub left. I've just realized this shade looks horrendous on me, and I can't believe I've been using this for the past, like, six months because it looks so bad on me. It makes my teeth look super yellow. I've used up more than half of the product, so I'm just calling it done for that. And then for the side that is lychee, I've pretty much used it up all the way. It's all the way at the bottom, and it's been really difficult to apply because it's, like, all melted down and it just detached from the stick so I'm just considering this side done as well and this product is pretty old so I probably shouldn't even be using it anymore so I've gotten my money's worth out of this product so I'm going to be considering this one done the next couple products I'm going to be mentioning are products that I've really substantially expanded the pan on so the first one is my the bomb sexy mama pressed powder I'm kind of hesitant to hold it up this way because this powder is beginning to crumble since it is getting to its last legs and there's not much holding it in the pan anymore. Here is my progress. I don't want this to fall, so hopefully you can see that. Here is my progress on this powder. As you can see, it's like falling out of the pan and stuff like that and starting to crumble. So I've been using it as a loose powder lately. I just kind of crush it up with my brush and then use it. I think this powder will be done within the next update. Moving on to my baked bronzer from Laura Mercier. I've also expanded the pan on this quite a lot, especially since it's summertime now. This is like my favorite bronzer to use in the summer, so I really load it on. So in my last update, I had a little bit of side pan and I've expanded my side pan. So my last update, I only had pan right here, but now I have pan all along this edge right here. I've expanded it all the way. I'm hoping to take my side pan and kind of start inching towards the middle since I've only been working on the sides because I like seeing side pan. I feel like it's so easy to hit pan when you work on the side of a product, but I really got to start working on the middle of this one. So moving on to my Milani Bella Cafe eyeshadow. If you saw my last update, I had a little bit left on the edges and now I barely have any left. I could pretty much consider this done, but I want to get every last bit of this product. So here's all I have left, as you can see, only right here. This is all I got. Everything else has been completely used up. I probably only have like two or three uses left out of this. And then the last powder product with some significant pan is my Marc Jacobs Contour Duo. So in my last update, my goal was to hit pan on the under eye setting powder side. And I finally did it. I'm so happy. It's been taking me so long. As you can see, there's a little bit of a pan today. I actually hit it a few days ago, and when I saw it, I was like, yes, I could finally film my update. I have heard that once you hit pan on this side, it does go rather quick. And then as for the actual contour side, I haven't expanded it too much. Again, I only use this on my nose to contour, so I don't really use it in a large area, so I don't use that much product each time I use it. I have been focusing more on my Bare Minerals Duo these past few months, but I still haven't hit pan on it, unfortunately. So the shimmer side has more of a dip going in it. Hopefully you can see that because I've been really working hard at this one. I've been using it a lot lately, but I still haven't hit pan on this. I'm not quite sure how deep these pans are because this, this is a sample size. I would feel like it would be more shallow. So as for my Too Faced Hangover RX, I have been doing pretty well on this. I haven't used it lately because it is getting a little bit warmer, so I don't really need that extra moisture in my skin. But I have made pretty steady progress on this one. So if you can see, this is where I was in my last update, and now I am down here. I'm going to be putting this on pause since it is summertime. 
And I think once I start using it again around November, I'll be able to finish it up. So I thought I was going to make really good progress on my Estee Lauder double wear during the summertime. And then I realized that I get tan in the summertime and this is like my winter shade. So although the formula is perfect for summer, I haven't been reaching for it too much because it isn't my perfect shade. And when I do use it, I have to mix it with another foundation. So my progress has actually been pretty slow on this foundation. So if you see on my lines, I was there at my last update and now I am down here. So I started using my e.l.f. blemish control primer again since it is a little bit warmer now and progress is always difficult to show on this because of the way the pump is but hopefully you can see up there and it's pretty close to the top. I'll probably be done with this soon. I can only imagine I have a few more uses out of this. At first, I thought this primer didn't really do much, but I do feel like it kind of prolongs the wear of my makeup and does feel nice on the skin and kind of, I don't want to say it blurs my pores because it doesn't really do that, but it does smooth it out just a little bit and gives a nice base to work on. So I don't hate it quite as much as when I first started using it. So as for my two little cover effects minis, I am like pretty much done with this one. I could consider it done if I really wanted to, but I am going to try to squeeze the last little bit out. So that's where I was in my last update and pretty much I have like one use left out of this maybe. So this is like pretty much done. And then I can start working on the other little baby size that I have. I also finally made enough progress on my Laura Mercier Radiance Primer to actually make another line to show progress, which is so exciting because I think this is the only progress update line I've made all project for this one. So I have been mixing this into my foundation because I like wearing long wearing matte foundations in the summertime because they last the best on my skin. But sometimes I want more of a glowy finish and I don't want that flat matte. So I'll typically mix this in with it. And so I haven't made a lot of progress, but you know, I have a progress line there and I'm excited about it because I have had no progress on this for the past six months. For my two eyeshadow primers, I have been mainly focusing on the Urban Decay Primer Potion because I think it's beginning to start to dry out. Lately, I've been having a little bit more trouble blending it out. The tube here is like pretty much all empty and when I use this I have to take out the wand because there's no product left on the wand anymore and I have to like squeeze it out now. So I am trying to focus on this more so I haven't really been using my um, Ulta eye primer all that much. I do have a little bit of progress from my last time but not a lot. Probably wasn't a good idea to add two eyeshadow primers in the same project now that I'm thinking about it but... What can you do? Now, the last two products I haven't made too much progress on since my last update, so. First one is my Estee Lauder Hot Cinnamon Single. As you saw in my last update, I did hit pan on it, and I haven't really touched it much since then. Since it has gotten warmer, I'm not really into the taupey, smoky eye anymore. Expanded the pan a little bit, but probably not enough for you guys to see on camera. I've only used it a few times since the last update. So I'm not expecting to see too much progress on this this summer, but I think once it gets around September, October time, I'll be using this a lot more then. And then the last product is my infamous Milani Rose Blush. So I think I have had a little bit more progress than the last time. I think the progress is finally becoming visible and the flower design is really starting to flatten out even though I've been saying that for the past like three updates. I think maybe this update you will actually see it. So that is my progress so far compared to last time. You can barely see the little indent right here. I think it's going to be flat by the next update, which is super exciting because I have been working hard on this, wearing it every single day, and it's not going really anywhere. I was thinking about decluttering this blush at the end of this year because I ha this is very similar to the shade Party from Tarte, which came in our birthday gift last year, and I was like, I don't need both blushes. But I thought I would make more progress on this, and I really haven't. So I would feel guilty kind of decluttering this, so we'll see what happens at the end of the year. This blush has, I think, 17 grams of product, which is a lot. So that's why it's been so hard to hit paint on it. So that's all the products I had to share with you guys today. So let's just quickly go through the products that I have used up, in case you're curious. And they're also like listed down below, but you know, not everyone reads the description box. During this project, I have finished up the Gertrude Light Reflecting Concealer. I have also finished up the Soap and Glory One Heck of a Blot Foundation, the NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat Foundation, which I have a review on if you want to see that. 
the Jordana Lip Liner in Rock and Rose, and I've also finished up the Wet n Wild Illuminati Concealer. And then if you saw my last update, my highlighter from Smashbox in the shade of Shimmer shattered everywhere and it was a lost cause and I couldn't fix it. So that one, although not finished, is no longer in this project because it sadly passed away. Anyway, that's all the progress I have to share with you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you love Project Pans and to subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!